Hi there, so today I'm looking at another bit manipulation question, uh, which is the 371 sum of two integers. We need to calculate uh, the sum of two integers a and b, but we are not allowed to use the uh, addition and the subtraction operator. So we have to look into the binary uh, representations for those integers and see uh, what's actually going to happen in the binary level uh, when we do the addition. So let's just take the very first example we have, 1 and 2. Uh, so add those two together. For the simplicity, simplicity purpose, we're looking at uh, four bit uh, unsigned integers. We have four positions. Uh, one is 0, 0, 0, 1, 2 is 0, 0, 1, 0, and the result is uh, uh, 3, which is uh, 0, 0, 1, 1. Um, basically, this uh, this result is the uh, we can obtain this by doing uh, exclusive all uh, between one and two. Um, and then looking at uh, some other examples uh, for simplicity, we're looking at uh, something simple again: one plus one. Um, notice that the one and two there are no uh, there is no carry about uh, the. Uh, you know the digits that you need to do so so let's just look at uh, one plus one which uh, del deliberately uh, force us to looking at uh, the the carryovers so one plus one the result uh, it's two and the binary is uh, zero zero one zero so we can see we find both uh, numbers have a one bit in the ones position so that suggests that we have to carry over that to the twos position so uh, we can do an end operator between those two numbers to find the position we need to do do the carry over and uh, to carry it over to the uh, next position it's uh, done by doing a left shift so so this is how we obtain this so let's look at uh, some uh, some example that will actually involve uh, both of this step to do this uh, 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 you know, summation by uh, doing bit manipulation. So uh, simplest example is just uh, 1 plus 3. We get uh, 1 is 0, 0, 0, 1, 3 is uh, 0, 0, 1, 1. Uh, so when we do, so we take a, take a look at uh, the exclusive all, which is uh, 0, 0, 1, 0. And uh, the carry is going to be doing an end operator. We have the one bit uh, at the ones position from both number. So similar to here, we uh, do an end operator to extract that and shift it towards left, which is uh, 0, 0, 1, 0. So that's uh, uh, you know shifted the version of the end. Uh, so the, the question essentially becomes uh, 2 plus 2. We just continue this procedure, so look at the exclusive all and uh, the shifted version of the AND operation. The exclusive all here is obviously zero because the number two numbers are the same, so it's zero. Um, the, uh, when we shift the, shift the AND, it will be four. So we translate this uh, summation question into a... Uh, Basically, we decompose the um, the summation into a series of uh, uh, exclusive all and uh, uh, shift the end operation. The exclusive all is that uh, for that uh, digits, we don't have overflow. We don't need to do the carry. And the um, end operation is basically to extract the bit positions where we do have an over, uh, overflow we need to deal with. Um, and the shift up to left by one is to, um, you know, get the carry in their right position. Uh, then we just resume do this calculation until one of the, the result uh, from either uh, exclusive or, or the shifted uh, version of the end becomes zero. Uh, then we just add those one one last time. Uh, doing uh, exclusive all between those two numbers one last time we can get the final result which is four that's what we've been looking for so uh, right now using the positive numbers it's all looking fine um, the the problem here is just that the it actually have negative numbers so that's a little bit funky uh, let's grab a binary for negative two 
And, and we know that uh, when we actually shift uh, the negative number towards left, uh, at least in the signed version, it's uh, uh, undefined. It's uh, problematic. Uh, usually, a, a workaround is to convert that into unsigned. But uh, the thing that I want to do before actually just do the conversion is to just verify. It's just sort of a simple example that uh, um, uh, you're actually okay to convert to unsigned because when you convert to unsigned and do the left shift, um, the the sign bit uh, uh, it's it's basically going to be truncated. Uh, uh, so we need to I guess at least to do some verification that uh, this truncation would 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 be okay. So uh, looking at uh, negative two plus three, so we definitely have a flip of the sign bit. Um, Three is this. So when we do the exclusive all, it will become one one one, and the end carry over is gonna be one zero zero. So then we continue doing this uh, procedure. We do exclusive all one zero zero one. The uh, end operation shift over is a one zero zero zero, and then um, when we do the just continue doing this exclusive, all we get a, a very get a single one at the very end, and uh, when we do the end operation, we get uh, one in the sign bit, and when we shift that over by left by one, we need to truncate that out. And we have the zero 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 zero, so the result is um, uh, zero 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 one. So um, so if we um, use the unsigned version, uh, left uh, left to shift, uh, it, it disc discard the the one that's being shifted towards left, and the result is actually okay. So uh, just a, a quick, uh, not not proof, but verifying that uh, it's okay to to uh, use end operation and left to shift by one, um, after, you know, casting that into unsigned to to utilize this uh, procedure to solve the uh, summation of uh, b between negative numbers and, uh, and positive numbers. Another verification I think I should do is to. Uh, check out the, the other kind of extreme. We have two negative numbers that uh, adding together. Um, so, um, so, so the 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 case that we should consider is that uh, if we have something like a negative seven, negative four, which are, um, you know, sort of like a, uh, you know, uh, it, it's a. Um, it's uh, it's on the uh, larger side uh, in the negative uh, regime, and uh, um, when we do the you know negative eight and negative seven, when we follow that procedure, we will get a one bit in the end uh, when we do the exclusive all the end operation and shift that towards left. If we disregard that, uh, we're gonna have uh, just a one, and um, that that might be problematic, but. Uh, I guess you can argue negative eight and negative seven. Um, you, we wouldn't really expect it to to have those two numbers as uh, uh, input if we're looking at uh, the four-bit uh, signed integers because those two, when we add to, together, is going to overflow. Um, so, but 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 following this procedure, we're pretty much going to return a positive one. So, uh, yeah. So it might be problematic. Um, Maybe we should just uh, testing uh, should should test uh, the two negative numbers has to be uh, less than half of the maximum possible, like uh, like less than or equal to. Otherwise, uh, we would uh, um, just throw out uh, some error, I guess. Uh, but if we just uh, follow in this procedure uh, for for. This uh, negative eight and negative seven cases, it's gonna be uh, problematic. But uh, nothing in the code, uh, nothing in the procedure will actually handle that. Uh, yeah, so that's kind of potentially some some problematic thing. Um, yeah, so so let's uh, let's just code this uh, code this solution up. Um, 
Uh, I'm actually interested to see uh, what it, uh, it sees if I put uh, uh, the interminimum uh, there. Uh, okay, so we have something like uh, the exclusive all. Let's just call this diff, and uh, another another variable for the carry. So the logic is just uh, while the one of those is uh, not zero, uh, we can just arbitrarily choose B actually, um, because when we should choose B because uh, uh, we should choose the carry thing and we should choose the carrier while the carrier is not zero, uh, and we're gonna basically assign A to the div to A exclusive all to A carry to B in this uh, 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 procedure so that. Uh, uh, when we determine whether we are terminate or not, we just check whether b is uh, non-zero, uh, whether b is zero. When b is zero, the a must have the uh, answer that we want. Um, so I'm just going to do the diff, which is the exclusive all between these two numbers. And uh, the carry is going to be uh, by casting I cast the uh, the um, end operation into a signed uh, unsigned integer, and then after that we shift it to left by one, and, and obviously we cast that back to integer. So we basically uh, truncate out the the one. Uh, I guess if if we cast this to 32 unsigned 32 integer, so, uh, when we do the left shift, it will already be the do the truncation. So when we convert the back, it's uh, uh, the trun 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 truncation up and actually happens in the left shift. And uh, then we're just gonna assign those things back to A and B. Uh, in the end, we should return A. That's the uh, sum of those two numbers so just run some examples uh, yeah this is a hard-coded example that I put there let me actually try something that's larger um, oh no it, uh, it's uh, so it's not 4-bit um, so how, how big is uh, 2 to the uh, Oh, no, uh, sorry. So, 1 to the 31. Okay, I'm stupid. This number, uh, so just gonna throw this, uh, maybe a little bit smaller, and uh, copy this twice. Uh, it's it's actually working. Hmm. Why is this? What is this number? Anyway, it, it's uh, it's definitely overflow there, and um, it actually accept the uh, overflow answer so if we're looking at uh, negative uh, 7 and negative 7 when we do uh, in the 4-bit version we, we when we do the end operation and the shift that towards left and disregard the the one carry we get 1 plus 1 and we actually will result in some positive number which it doesn't make sense but um, yeah th this actually um, where is my console this actually that, that's just a how I think in the in the back end of their judge system, it's actually doing this similar to this. So, yeah, um, I I would I would think that uh, they will actually throw some errors, uh, but but uh, apparently it's not. Anyway, so that's the question. Um, um, yeah, just doing exclusive all to uh, add those that don't need to. The add those bit positions where you don't need to worry about the carry 
and using AND operator to find the, the position where you want to do the carry uh, to put the carries onto the right uh, position we left the shifter that towards left by one and to deal with the case that uh, uh, when we actually gonna shift the negative numbers um, we we cast that into unassigned and yeah this, this have um, uh, undesired uh, properties uh, so uh, I guess whether it's unsigned or signed, uh, better not to do the left shift. So, yeah, uh, that that's pretty much it. The the question for today. Um, all right.